Hello everyone, this is Easter. Welcome back to the second half of Yomawari. Hopefully we finish it and it won't be a second half. Uh, unless I flip out again. So last time we just finished up chapter 3 and... Uh, it's been a couple of hours. I said I was going to finish this in one day and I am. It's... Had a couple of hours off. So that... Okay, that was a lot louder than I expected. Um, it's had a couple of hours off since uh, I did the first part. Where, um, we basically ended off with a lady chasing us around a rice paddy and that was really frustrating and I basically flipped out. And that's why this section has been separated from the first section. Alright, so we're just going to continue on. I'm going to upload this all on the same day, or it's going to be out all on the same day. So, this if you're watching this one after the other, then it could be a couple of minutes. But for me, it's been, I don't know, maybe three, four hours. Alright, so we're going to a shopping district apparently now, so where am I actually going? Let me take a look. I still have the, um, what you call it, the guide up, because like I said in the first part, it's just frustrating trying to get through something, but it just takes me forever to find where I'm going, so I have a guide. Alright, so here's a dog. Poro? Alright, so we're following the dog again. Last time this happened, we ended up in a school, and it was not a very good time, so... Uh, we're supposed to be going along here. Let's have a look at where I'm actually going. Um, from what I know, we're supposed to be going into the woods. So, so I think we're supposed to go through this crossing, or this train thing, which I believe is supposed to be... Um, Actually, I don't know what it is, so I shouldn't say anything. Uh, but we're supposed to be crossing... Hi... Uh, crossing over that and going to the woods as the main part of um, this chapter. Alright, here, here's the train crossing. Alright, what's happening? Last time we saw a crazy lady that we ended up following around a rice paddy. It was a terrible idea, um... In general. Uh, we got killed a lot of times because the lady was ridiculously unreasonable having us to dodge to the side when um, we were on a very narrow path. I hear a dog barking. It might be Poro. Alright, so we're gonna follow the dog barking. Terrible idea, girl. And um, for the fact you return home after Eric chapter, why the hell do we not just wait till daytime? Alright, so we're gonna go here. Continue south. Reach the level crossing for another scene. Girl mentioned here, dog. Um... Go southeast all the way. Wait, wait. Why? Why did I? Why did I start pulsating? Okay, so we're gonna follow the dog all the way because um, I'm not gonna do all the extra stuff. If I want to do the extra stuff, I'll maybe I don't know play it on stream or something. Give a coin to Jesus statue. Okay. Um, I don't know how many coins I actually have. I still have a coin. Okay. Whoa, yo! Watch where you're driving, lady. Well, I look like a lady, but I shouldn't just assume. But um, you know, this road is wide enough for the two of us. So you don't have to try and run me over. Holy shit! That's also a thing about um, most of the things I try to kill you in this game. They're either stationary or they're very easy to avoid. And then there's those ones, which just kind of pop out of nowhere and um, run you over for no particularly good reason. Uh, unlike the other one though, I actually had a constant heartbeat for it, which was kind of nice. Paper plane, okay. So I'm supposedly just supposed to keep going southeast till I reach some thing. Go southeast all the way to the road, then take the path that goes northeast. Okay, yeah, so let's go to the woods. Or, in this version of the game, it will be the forest, because it's the um, localized version. Probably not this, probably the uh, actual path. I'd like to think, at least. Alright, so let's walk on the side. Wait, is it this one? Yeah, let's walk on the side of the road where I can actually see the whole thing. So we don't get run over by crazy people who can't drive. I know that's not what's actually happening, but that's the easiest way to say it. They literally just try to run you over for no particularly good reason. Um, Alright, so the woods is there. Yoink. 
Also, I found that things tend to walk on the center of the road, so... Uh, you want to avoid stuff. The side of the road is actually quite nice. It also gives you more vision as you stick to the side of the road, which gives you more view of the road. Hey, little doggy. Alright, let's go into the woods. Alright, let me just scroll this down so I can actually have a look. Alright, what... Okay. Uh, they're kind of sandwiching me. And ships passing the night. Goodbye. Alright, very nicely placed bush. I actually needed it. Now let me get out of line with these morons so that I don't get run over by them if they come back. Oh, here's a dog. Okay, that's fine. So, supposedly, at some point in the games, I actually need to turn the flashlight off. Uh, I don't know how to do that, which is a slight problem. Um, I'm hoping that they'll teach me, but... Knowing the game, they probably won't. Uh, is there a Jesus statue to mark the start of this, um, area? Help? Hello? Um, okay, there's a Jesus statue. Alright, you. Let me save. Yeah, screw you two. Um, okay, so that is not the Jesus statue would be saving that. Dirty key! Looks like it's locked. Can I lock it with that dirty key we just found? How convenient. And also a terrible idea. Okay, so is there an actual Jesus statue so that I don't have to walk all this way? I'll be good. Dog, I don't give a shit what you're doing. I'm going to that statue. Ah, uh, there's a swing in the very corner of my screen that I can see. Alright, let's have a look at what we're doing first. Um, I also need to know how to uh, turn the flashlight on and off. Um, open a locked door, continue north, we see the dog here, apply the dog, pick a shot, I'll generate off insect corpse. Just find a real statue. Examine at least once to save you wish. Alright, so this is the statue that we have. I suppose, um, as long as you see it once, if you die, uh, you can always teleport back to it, even though you don't start it. I mean, it's just inconvenient if you don't, honestly, so you might as well save. Um, so I guess we follow the dog for now. Alright, so what's this? Uh, I need to be able to turn off my flashlight. I need to work out how to do that. Um, Control scheme, of course. Uh, back button. That's really inconvenient in the controller, isn't it? Because supposedly these things will ignore you as long as um you don't have your flashlight on. Uh, well, you know what? Let's see if he's past it anyway. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I'm just going east. Make sure east to rear statue find you in rock face. Extremely attracted to the light. Um, go as far east as you can. And then go while well, facing a couple of bushes turn it back on. Okay. Wow, man, not cool. Alright, let's just not point the light at the thing. And then... Wow, there's so many of them. Alright, I guess we're not using the flashlight for this whole part. Alright, let me just tip toe past this. Yo, what's up? There's something like literally on top of me right now. And it's kinda of disturbing. Uh turn the flashlight off, blah blah blah, it'll be Um A healy frame and a blind enemy patrolling horizontally. Stay on the right edge and slowly walk upwards past it. Uh but do I still not get to use my light? 
Uh, okay, so is this gonna be a problem for me? Oh, of course it is! Alright, let me just do that again. So what you see here is that there's a light, so the rock is agitated, I guess. So as long as we don't have a light, we can just walk straight past these rocks. Uh, does that mean I need to turn my lights on again once I'm past that next rock? Yeah, screw your head. Alright, well, okay, we'll walk past this one and then we'll just see what's happening once we get through here. Let's turn the light back on. Alright, so this is the thing I need a shovel for. Alright, Spider, can you get off my face? I kinda need to see. Alright. Uh, while we're waiting for the spider to get out of our face, let's just have a look at what we're doing now. Alright, um, Northwest, past the rock. Okay, let's bury in a blind enemy, presumably horizontally. I didn't see the enemy, so. Um. Turn the right edge and slowly walk upwards, past it, up north, be part of the sand, examine it, I can't. Take the left one first. Um. Okay, so there is something I want over here. Do I wait? All right, do turn the light off. Okay. Oh look, there's more rocks. Of course, there is. All right, we need this. Okay, that gives me matches. Supposedly, I can use them to throw. Uh, light sources, basically. Alright, and then we'll go up this way. I'd like another Jesus statue at some point, so I don't have to backtrack constantly. Well, that's really annoying. Alright, how tippy toy do I have to be through here? Alright, don't touch me. Uh, return to the rogue. You'll be forced to try the new usable. Okay, so throw the matches. Aha, uh -huh, okay, that makes some sense. Excuse me as I just squeeze through here. Actually, I'm allowed to use my torch. I don't want to backtrack, so I'm just constantly checking. Um, Alright, so... They wake up and get around the tor uh, around the match. Now go through the new open path, follow to the temple entrance, into the temple. Then pick up the item self is two fake statues. There's so many fake statues. Um, okay, so there should be a what a path to the left somewhere. Alright, so going to the temple. There should be a statue on the left that we can save at, so these are fake. And then there should be one somewhere on the left side. Which is real, which we can save at, so we don't have to travel this whole goddamn distance again. Um, is it that? Could you not? I really don't need people feeling me up around my legs. That seems really disturbing. Alright, so, Royal Split here. Um, broken pins are taking a left path. Uh, backtrack to the temple entrance, take the right path, which has obtained a trophy in another item. Uh, skip this paragraph you want to just finish the chapter. Alright, um... Head back to the table entrance and take the left path of the red statue is go northwest from the statue. Okay. Who was that? What do I need to pay attention to? 
Uh, we're walking straight into a uh, graveyard. Could you please stop trying to fill me up between my legs? More matches. Okay, good. No, like seriously, could you not fill me up between my legs? All right, that was more matches. Um, let's see. Go to options. I just take the southwest part of the graveyard. There's stuff in there. South what is it? Wait, so there's a tangent coin here. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. I do want that. I know they aren't exactly rare, but it's just annoying about to go look for one. Alright, um... More matches, go... Now go back northeast and take the up path into the open area. Okay. Excuse me as I just skimmy past you guys. Alright, hold up, pass the words. Um, there are three. Once you see an opening south, hug the north edge with a flashlight off. Could you a lot take the upper path while avoiding the enemy walking around here? The path below leads to dead end. Okay. Okay, those are blind enemies, so. Oh, oh shit, he's like coming straight at me. Could you stop trying to fuel me up between my legs? Wow, rude. That a, that's not okay, that's not a bridge. Alright, let's just uh, walk on the side again, just so we don't get tackled by anyone. Their favorite way to try to kill you in this game. Uh, come on, that's just rude. Alright, um... Where are we now? Graveyard Temple. Where are we supposed to be hidden though? Um, Alright, where are we up to now? Go south while avoiding enemies, of course. Alright, we need to avoid stuff now. Is that it? That would really come in there for this. Alright, wait, where am I actually supposed to go? I keep the crane memo, leave symmetry, turn off my drive, go north east. Are you not? God damn it, that was so far away. Ah, oh my god. Alright, I didn't know that long distance. That was at the edge of my screen. How the hell was I supposed to know how to dodge that? Alright, so, um... Excuse me? Uh... It's just annoying because some things you can't see... And then some things... Alright, we'll, we'll just try to get back to where we were, um... Alright, hold up. I need to wait for the blind guy here to reach a certain point in this path, right? Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, we'll just wait for him to reach a certain point in this path. So we, don't, we can avoid him properly. Alright dude, hurry up. I know you're blind as hell, but... Please, shimmy along, thank you. And there's the arm trying to fuel me up again. Alright, so need to turn off the flashlight for the top left file. I didn't even see them before I got attacked by them. That's kind of bullshit, actually. Eh. Alright, 
Thank you. Save point. All right, let me see if I can turn on my flashlight again because this is just annoying. Um, the statue northwest is the statue of the statue of the railway. Pick up the old newspaper. Blah blah blah. They walk on the railway going southwest, and then there's eye monster trying to eat you. <laughs> Funny, but we can um, stay on the south edge. Wait, well, I suppose I get a key at some point. Pack the key. Was that a thing at some point? Because I didn't pick it up. Oh no, that was the one right from the start. Okay. Um. Right. So where was I up to? Save here, then move north. Move forward. Northwest is a statue, is a railway. Pick up the old newspaper. They walk on the railway going southwest. Okay. Sounds like I'm allowed to use my torch, so let's do that. Oh, look, lots of eye monsters are trying to eat me up there. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of a Whoa! Just like a ninja. Alright. So, supposedly there's no more rock monsters out here to knock my head off, so let's just walk down the road. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go all the way down it, right? Um, right here. Uh, looks like it's locked. Cool, alright, um, then here. There have been numerous reports of missing children! Alright, so first a lady was missing, then, well, there's something else missing, and now... Actually, no, I think the first thing missing was just keys. And now there's children missing! Uh, we'll post... Uh, well, guardians, please do not leave your children unattended. Please do not allow your children outside after dark. Well, isn't that a problem? We're out after dark. Uh. Okay, then get the can. That was kind of awkward. And back to the wait. This is back to the start. Am I supposed to come back here? Um, you go into that takes you. Oh, return onto and go back north. Oh, all right. I'm supposed to take that opening in the path. Oh, that's awkward. Um. Alright, hold up, we're backtracking now. Supposedly you can't open this door from this side, so it's a good thing we opened it. In case I ever feel like coming back here. Don't know why I would do that, but... Well, you know. Things happen. Alright, supposedly there's a... There was that little opening here. That's where was the place to be going, okay. I don't think you're walking to find your dog at this point. I think you're walking into, um, I don't know... Maybe, uh, a wolf pack? Alright, where's the path? The path is kind of hidden by the trees, it's kind of annoying. Um, here we go. Oh look, you found your dog, which you got run over by a freaking truck and you threw a rock on the road! That's Paro! He's dead as all hell. Paro, wake up! Of course he's like, I got hit full force by a flipping truck! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! He's not gonna wake up. Paro, let's go home! Paro, please wake up! Paro? How many times have we prodded dead dog? Oh wow, that was quick. Girl, you made a pretty fancy grave with no tools. Alright, so that was a sad moment. I know I was being a douche about it, but... Uh, 
kind of was a kind of the fact that you saw your dog at the start of getting a head full forced by a truck. And look, convenient flowers on the side of the road again. Alright. Let us go home. The chapter will end. Um, wait, am I Long after this girl cried with Percy's dog, he hits south and follow the track southwest for another scene, okay. You will obtain a torn collar, which, um, half of it was still with you at the start of the game, so, you know. But, for the fact that you're, you play as the younger sister, but, to be able to... Cool. Can we not? Okay. To be able to, um, accept a pet dying that easily, it's actually kind of surprising. Um, it's Paul's collar. I'm sorry, Paro. Yeah, it was kind of your fault. A little bit. It was an obedient dog. I'll give you that much. Would you like to save? Yes. Alright, so that was annoying rocks out of the way. Holy shit. That was actually kind of a thing. Okay, here. I buried Paro. Paro died because of me. I couldn't tell sis about him. If I didn't throw the rock, if I was able to tell my sis, what should I do? What should I do? Sis, will you be okay? Alright, so, coming to chapter 5 now, um, and then there is something here where there's a lot of side events now available, looks like a lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, urban mysteries, because there's a Hanako-san event, which is usually the kid who, um, it should be the kid who died in the toilet. Uh, that's a pretty common urban mystery in Japan. Um, I think still pretty common in the modern day schooling. And then there's Mary's cell phone event, which is the uh, it should be the thing where it's like um, the phone call of the person saying that they're behind you. All right, so um, we're gonna just skip all of that. Uh, let me just click through here. Click here, you want to skip to the story. Alright. So we'll go to the shopping district now. Alright, so let's go left for the coin first, because we... Do we need a coin? We do need a coin. Um, just so we can save uh, any statue, just in case we get tackled by something stupid. Um, Alright. Pop. And then we'll make our way in to do stuff. It looks like, I'm just looking at it, it seems like a lot of stuff which involves a lot of running. Wait, so we'll see something that might be in a litter box. Hey, the secret litter. Alright, that was the thing that was supposed to be in a litter box. Alright. Um, why am I already got my heart pumping a couple of steps out of my house? Alright, uh, so then. Uh, I presume the shopping center is this downtown area, so I guess we'll go that way. The guide I'm reading is one that's based off the um, original version, which is in Japanese. I could play it in Japanese, but I decided against it since there's really no point. Alright, now go west and follow the road going southwest, okay. Ah, this road. You son of a bitch, get off me! We are not solving anything right now, get it! Did you? Would that become a problem? Um, hold up. Once you go there, go west, follow the road southwest. Once you reach the entrance, return north east to the statue. This time. Hmm. Okay.
Red trinket found. Shrine. You know, there's way too many shrines in this um, town in general. I mean, at this point, I, I'm in full belief that we live out in the bums. All right, so where where am I? Um, southwest shrine. Turn northeast to the. Oh my god, I didn't actually have to go this way. <sighs> this person is doing a full um, collector's edition of uh, get everything. Well, I can't go that way. Alright, so we're supposed to go back to the statue and go this way. Let me just, um, do... Actually... Yeah, that's fine. Stick to the... So... Why is there a hand guy, like, coming towards me? Okay, that guy just, um, goes back and forth. Alright, so... Didn't hit southeast instead of the north side in the street. After you get past the hiding board and start seeing the parking lot, check near the... Uh, this feels like there's an increase in people just like uh, walking around today. What the? You son of a bitch! Like I said, watch how you drive. Holy hell! All right, we're gonna pick up a coin from the um, vending machine and use that to save at the shopping district. So that I walk back there constantly. Ah, uh, these people can't drive. That person was completely on the side of the road, man. Come on. Stay in the center of the bloody road. It's not that difficult. Alright. Why is our heart beating already? Wait, what? Okay, I just did a stupid. Um, That's fine. What I need to know is whether that person's gonna try and tackle me again. Dude, there's two of them! What the hell, man? Alright, so we're supposed to go southeast, get to the parking lot. Um. I'll the sub and key, which is what I just got, right? Uh, oh boy, open scrapbook. South key. <sighs> so southwest, that side's already blocked from you, so it'll be a... The bottom right entrance, house on the southwest side. Alright, so I need to get into there. You son of a bitch! Alright, that pop is blocked as well, so we can't go that way. here. Dude, all the paths are kind of blocked. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum. Wait, what's that? What am I looking at? This? No, this? Is it this thing? A note on the closed shutter says that will be right back. Like, I've never seen this door open in my whole life. Cool. Uh, this is blocked as well. Uh, how do we get into here? Okay, I guess we just keep walking round it in circles. Do we? And they make disturbing noises, but they're actually harmless. I guess the main thing they do is cover up noises that you need to hear for other stuff. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we can come in here. Is that hat thing bad? Um. The bottom... 
Okay, once you enter, you get, get up change. Uh, once you enter, you'll get a scene. The objective will change into searching for the exit. If you die past this point, you return at the start of the next scene. Okay. Um. <coughs> Jeez. Um. I don't really understand what's happening. Uh, I have to run, so go northeast for another quick scene. Mine! Yo! Someone! Is that a phone ringing? Yes it is. Where am I actually going? North East? Just give, give North East. Ha ha ha! No 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 no! I run slow in these assholes! Ow! Wait, can I stop these assholes? I can't, okay. That doesn't work! Ow. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. Um, northeast. It just says go northeast, but I can't get through that area, so I guess we'll go this way. Oh, it does? Oh, so that omnius. Hello, spider! Alright, I guess we're going this way. Wait, that? Ah, uh, you're the boy to seem to be monster over here while making your way out of the area. Doesn't seem to try to kill you in this alternate reality. You had to conserve your stamina to run from attack. You don't have no stamina when you hear a sound it makes for your attack. You might not be able to dodge attack. From the faithful and go north. Wait, well, okay. And then take the first blood going northeast! Alright, I'll this way then. Suppose they make a sound before an attack, so... I- I see. Could you not?! Lady, drive! That's not hard! Stay in the middle of the road! Alright, what do we do now? Coming through the northeast, blah blah. Long here wants to dash at you for buying it, but he's flashing and running sideways. Uh, now go northwest, then turn left, go southwest until you arrive at the shrine. Alright, we need to go to the shrine. You bitch! Get off me! I'm kind of in a hurry here! Alright, the music stopped. Huh. Don't eat me. <clears throat> Need some water. A phone is ringing. Alright, so, um... I thought you had to run northeast and answer the ringing payphone again.
did you not? So we still doing this? Okay. Huh. Okay. Alright, so, um... After seeing you, you can freely move between the real world and the centipede world, you also find four salt key items in your notebook. If you die here, you return to where the last scene ended, which is what right here. The real world will be filled with new big bellied humanoid monsters too early, while the centipede world has only has some of the old enemies we faced before. What you need to hear is into the alternate reality to avoid the new enemies. Then you should pay for the right shopping area to enter the real world and return the four pinches of salt to the locations. The salt can only be placed in the real world, one in each district of the shopping world while. Also, the real world can, will be heavily guarded by the new enemy, but a portion of them will disappear when each soul is returned to its place. Uh, alright, centipede won't attack you, but the other enemies will. Hmm. Alright, so we want a key so that um, we can go for a shortcut. Uh... We have salt in our hands. We might have some sweaty parts from being running, I don't know, being attacked by some giant monster, but it's fine, the salt's not dissolving. Uh, so how do we do this? Right. Into the alleyway northwest of you to find a shiny spot of the northern key. And then you enter in the centipede world. Maybe it means I was supposed to put it back where it was in the first place. Alright, so we can now use that to um change worlds because we can't avoid those uh, humanoid belly monsters because their freaking stomach is too gigantic to avoid. Alright, we supposed to return here, but we should keep the north key either way. Hopefully progress is kept between um deaths, because it's be annoying as hell. Alright, so we end up here, we need to go back into the shopping district, um, and put salt down. Uh huh. The main problem now is going to be the fact that the centipede covers up half the screen and we can't see half the time. Alright, that. I was hoping to speak to get tackled here. So for the most part, we just need to walk around around shopping district. Go! Okay, I don't know if we can get past that. Let me just take a chill here. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. They... Um... There's a Finstar shortcut path that's currently locked. Uh... Once you answer the phone, you're in the real world. Go east to see the first white circle. Okay, so we're supposed to change it. Oh, D's, okay. And then some of the things disappear, okay. That makes a bit more sense. Going northeast. There seems to be it's covering the whole screen here. I can't see if anything's gonna attack me. Okay, I can't even go this way. Wait. Um in the small parking lot. You know, if I wasn't following a guide for this, I'd probably be incredibly pissed at this point. So, um... Okay, so... Wait, is the lady gonna try and run me over again? You bitch! Drive safely! Alright, what are we doing here? Um... 
Back in the real world, stay away from the enemies and enter shopping area through the entrance west of you. Keep going southwest to see the second soul circle. And then go southwest. Wow, that's actually a lot of things. Okay, so go through the thing we just came out of where the lady tried to run us over. Um Southwest. More southwest. Uh, west. Okay, southwest, southwest, west, and then go back to the shortcut. Okay. You son of a bitch! Stop trying to run me over! Southwest. Um. I'm not under close shutter, say that be right back. Alright, that's a lot of people have, don't work. Southwest. Alright, we don't go from here. Southwest, southwest. Uh there's a things off shortcut. Ignore it and continue west for the first social call, okay. Wait. Wait, I don't feel like I'm going the right way. I'm supposed to be in this area, aren't I? What the heck? Uh... Can you go southwest to the control group? Place the control shelf where once you get to... Watch things off shortcut, there was no things. You bitch! <sighs> Hold up. Let's go back to the payphone over here. Wait, why is this thing here? Ow. Alright, do we need to do the whole thing again? God damn it. Uh. Uh. Alright. Officially the most frustrating part of this game because they don't keep your progress. They made it sound like there's no enemies apart from like the um the regular ones in the centipede world. But then you have the crazy lady who tries to run you over constantly everywhere. Wait, it is here! What the hell? But where the hell am I going then? Uh, oh, this? Is it this? Which door is this? Oh, this is a north key. Okay, um... Uh... West. Did I, did I put the third one down? I don't even know. Alright, go through the shortcut, and then use this- Okay, so we'll open this with the north key. Really? We gotta do it like this? Alright, here we go. Yo! I put all the salt in the right spots. 
I should go tell that to the centipede spirit. Is that provided that nothing will attack me? I know I could just die at this point and just um walk back there. All right, here we go. Walking all the way back. Right, where is the shrine? You crazy bitch! Alright, uh, where's the shrine? <laughs> hey, things. Pair of shoes. How oddly inconvenient. Alright, so we need to go back to the payphone, right? We can't just go straight to... Yeah? I can't... I can't use this, okay. But this is the shrine right here. Um... Return to the shrine to get another scene. Should I do it in the real world? Okay, this is this is scripted. Good. The seems to be spirit isn't here. But red charm and salt. It wasn't such a bad spirit. Uh, I tried to I don't know annihilate you by slamming you into the ground. She my luck. Late night. All right. Ah. Uh. Okay, so, um, about the spirits, I found so many scary things in town. How many more times will I have to be so afraid? Will it be even scarier than ever? But I think this is, this dying is more scary than anything. Right. Alright, so, now we're going into chapter 6. Leave the house and step out of the yard for a scene. That's quick. Wait. Okay, that doesn't sound pleasant at all. Alright, let me just click this first. All right, so we can't use the return home feature supposedly, but um, we step out of the yard. I don't think anyone in this town should drive. They they, they clearly can't drive. All right, here we are. This way. Cool. All right, so where am I? I had to find the exit. Oh, he's some kind of factory. Well, that's inconvenient. It won't open. Ho ho! Yeah, these truck drivers can't drive either. Oh, cool. Alright, I don't actually know where I'm going. Actually, let me just check along. Pass east. Avoid enemies. East. Um... Another container, okay. Ah. Right. Um, so... We can hide in these containers. I don't know see the point of it since, um, we're just constantly got a heart rate pulsing. Uh, first container near the main gate, head north. I, this person's leading you around a lot to um, find items and I just kind of want to know where I need to go. Wait, how do I get out? Oh, 
Oh, ho, I walked into you. That's funny. Alright, I'm kind of walking blind here. I don't know where I'm going. Where the hell are we? What district is this? A coin. Well, that's inconvenient. Yo! Cool. Um... Oh wait, we could... Oh wow, we could do this. I didn't know that. Alright, um... So these are the child souls that you can't face your back to. So... Can we not do this? This is just annoying. Alright, um... Why so many of these enemies? I feel like the way I'm straping is a terrible idea. Alright, um... Piece of cloth. Where the hell am I? I don't know where I am. That's kind of a problem. Uh, type of the iron plate to enter the factory from above. Okay. We're going inside the factory. Okay, I just got stuck on something. I was about to flip out, but... Oh, that's hilarious! Yeah, suck it! Alright, um... That puts us up to this part. Okay, so now I'll respawn here if I die. Go north east to the catwalk. Um... What am I actually dealing with up here? I don't know how this is constituting to finding a way out, but you know. A thing! Factory newspaper, not very helpful, but okay. Oh, stairs. Uh. Alright, am I supposed to go back down? Step on the pipe. Um, take a catwalk above and a little park on southeast. Alright, not this way, apparently. I don't know how much I'm supposed to be running, because it sounds like there's a lot of blind enemies in this part, which means that they're responsive to sound, and that's not good. Hello, that's one child spirit. All right. I see another one here, okay. There's another one Wait, how do I get through this? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, come back here. Let me just uh, work on what I'm doing here. Uh, ignore the alleyway going, s climb up the iron plate, fall cat will reach the stairs going down. The alley below, just below the stairs has a pebble, but it's got by three blind enemies. Wait, I found the newspaper. You respond here, go north east to the only south of it is a torn crayon memo. Above, ignore the park going south east, follow the catwalk to reach the stairs going down. Are you... Oh, we're supposed to go northwest. Hmm. 
So supposedly this is how you advance up this path. <laughs> how do This is unnecessarily inconvenient. Really, did I just come here for that? Oh my god. Uh, we don't need to collect all the items. We can do that in the free room that's at the end of this game. Alright, let's go this way. Um, excuse me. There's not a space! Ah, uh, what do I need to know about that thing? Um, only charge at you in straight lines from, for instance, from southwest to northeast or vice versa on this alley. Don't just you to run back and hide behind the buildings wall north of the alley. Alright. Uh. The problem is that the corners in this game are very tight and they're very solid, which means that if you cast yourself on them, you can't get past it, which is incredibly annoying. Alright, hold up. Alright, run backwards. And through here. There's not enough freaking stamina! Ah. Uh. <sighs> All right, that's just. I mean, I slowed right down as I was trying to turn the corner, and well, it just hit me in the face because I couldn't run long enough to actually get Albert's way. Uh. All right, we'll try this again. Bad time's a charm. Alright, you. Don't attack me, please. Should I be hugging the left wall to begin with? There's a thing right there! What the hell? And that thing's so wide! Uh, that's just annoying. Alright, once again, past this guy. I swear, some of these paths feel unnecessarily tight. Can I squeeze into here? I can't. I can't. Uh. Okay, that's this. This is just getting really frustrating now. The problem is, it's not scary or thrilling in any way. It's just annoying. I mean, yes, yeah, fine that you make a monster that charges right at you in a straight line, but the hitbox is wider than the path, so even if you get out of the way, if you're not completely out of the way, you'll still get hit by it for no particularly good reason. Um, and then they just stick a thing like right around the corner so you can run straight into it again. Uh. What the? What did I run to? What the heck? 
Uh, no, and just run back and hide. Didn't get past the ones by past you. Did the same thing on the other end. Charge yourself, wish to watch you. Recovering your hide, find something one. The second there, she's child's burst ain't right there. Uh, would I actually need to go northwest? <sighs> Alright, so once I have the key, I'm fine to suicide, but I need to get this key first. Alright. Ah, uh, my god, this is... Can you not? All right, here we go again. It's so wide! Why is it so wide? It's so unnecessarily wide! Lose some weight! Holy shit! Okay, I'm starting to sweat. My palms are getting sweaty. I'm try hiding so hard right now. It's, it's just you. You don't have the freaking stamina to do these turns. And well, I mean the freaking child's bird that's right next to the uh, freaking um, alleyway exit doesn't help either because it's literally in your way. Oh my god. Oh, the freaking charge bridge! But you can't keep the torch on it! You can't strafe backwards! What the hell? Like, seriously. This is. This is actually kind of bullshit. I mean, yeah, you can try and. You can't. There's no way you can keep your light on it. You don't have enough time to run all the way down the freaking path either. Unless I can make this thing charge in a different direction before I start coming down this way. Alright, here we go again. Just, yeah, there's no way there's enough time. Uh, I need to make it run in a different direction before it starts coming back down the alleyway. Uh, I think this is the walkthrough I'm reading is based off the Vita version. I think it looks sounds like there's a glitch that can happen that um causes the uh, monster just to spawn, which is also a thing. It's supposed to give you ample time to run down this alleyway. It doesn't. It's barely enough time to get around the fifth and corner the first time. Could you... Like, seriously not. Ah, oh, come on! Come on! Ah! Oh, I'm getting so sweaty. Holy shit. I can see the key. It's it's not that far in. That's just the thing doesn't give you enough time to run. Like the child spirit starts chasing your ass as well, and you can't aim your torch backwards. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, yeah, this might help. I pretty much had to throw that out as I'm turning the corner, just to keep the light on top of the um thing. All right. New strategy, let's see if this works. I need to keep the child spirit up here to give me enough time to make enough turns. Because the child spirit actually homes in on you, which is a problem. Why do you have to stand still for that? Yeah, I'm about to flip out. Uh... <laughs> I have to be honest, I am literally about to flip out. I spent at least 20 minutes on this now, I swear. 
I've been recording for an hour and something, and <coughs> oh god, I'm I'm gonna kill my friend just yelling at this game. Uh, this is what you call poorly designed game mechanics. I'm in the loophole for how to make games. This is one of the poor, more poorly designed ones I've seen in this game so far. There is a find there's logical ways to get around it that don't require very tight timings that are completely unnecessary. Unnecessarily wide! That's what I keep saying. This thing's so fat. Ugh. Alright, you know what, I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of this. I'm just going to, um, cut until I get past this spot. Alright, we're well, back. About four or five more tries. You know what happened and how it got past it? The thing despawned randomly. Not something you should be relying on in the game. Alright. I should have gone to refill my water before I started recording back up. Ugh. Alright, um, factory newspaper, yeah, from where you get the newspaper, go south, take the city of town, there'll be a container here, he don't waste this, see another shiny object. The first time you approach it, you'll be killed by the meat monster, you go there a second time, however, you can pick it up. Uh, that seems like a complete pointless thing to do, so let's just go southeast, I guess. Right, um, oh, the lock on it, wait, no, north west is, wait, yeah. Southeast, you see a lock container. Hit south, find a batch of start blinding enemies. Okay, um. Okay, lock containers here. Um. Hit south of it for another batch of blinding enemies. So I'm going south southeast, I think. Wait, what? Oh, hello. Middle pipe. Alright, where am I? Um <sighs> Alright. So we can pass through the blockade, which is cool. And then... Reach an R blockade, there are two separate Tinian coins. Um, Alright, go south. And then... East. And to make the first turn right. Do I need to know about this? Um, wait. Uh, turns northeast. Pick up trying an item. Let's continue heading northwards. You continue hitting northeast from wait. This is a shiny item, but you keep going north. Okay. Wait. Keep hurry. Quickly go up northeast and pick up the item with the full picture book. I don't need to go here. I don't care about your items. Okay. Um, do I actually need the picture book at all? I don't think I do. Alright, um, return to where the blockade had an opening. Hit southeast from it to avoid a single. Mm. Wait, where? I don't know where I'm going. Alright, I'm lost. Uh. Uh, 
Um, there's a single Tinian coin on the street. Right before a batch of hideous blind zombies, we by walking slowly through them. Don't touch them, then continue northeast. <laughs> You'll finally find a checkpoint statue, that's hilarious. Alright, there, that, that thing. Oh, I'm so sweaty right now. And we can't use the Jesus statue, so... Northwest... Go... For sure, so you go back to the bush and hide in it. There's a short scene, so I guess this is... I just get to see what happens. Aha, that's hilarious. Yo, you can't see me! Um. Oh, well, hmm. Alright. Two more clumps of bushes as you move northwest. At the end of the bush, climb the stairs to the north to follow the catwalk. Bushes! Catwalk, okay, here. Alright, so once we're on the catwalk. Uh, I don't really know what else to say anymore. It's just like the, the frustrating part of the game just exhausted me, and it's really hard to keep talking. But at the same time, I feel like if I don't just finish up here, it'll probably piss me off further along the line, and it'll, it'll just drag out, and I won't finish it. So I just want to finish it, um, finish the game in this setting at least. Uh, climb up the stairs to the north and follow the catwalk. On the four edge, you should go northwest for a short scene. Now run back southeast until the danger is gone. And then go northwest. Okay, so just go up here, run. Okay. Wait, how far I had to run just there? Well, that was... that was quick. Okay. Looks like it's locked! Well, good thing we've spent 20 minutes with getting the stupid key! Are we out? What's this? How can we not? Alright, what are we doing here? Um... The park on the left will be blocked when you approach it, so go right and circle around to the north side. When you get to this child, to child's show, there will be shiny up in front of it. Pick it up. Nah, I don't care about that. Avoid the enemy and continue going south, east, west of the... on the catwalk. Okay. Alright, so there should be a child's soul around here somewhere that I need to pay attention to. The child's soul actually doesn't attack you if, um, you had a light on it. Really? We can't even see now? Really? There we go, alright. Front gate key. Can we not make these unnecessarily difficult to get past? I can't touch them, which is the funny bit. Um, as long as my light's on them, they won't do anything to me. Alright. I don't even know where the path is, because this giant thing is in the way. Um... Okay, there's only one more chapter after this, I I can do this. The game, like I said, the game is interesting, it's, it's fun, it's just unnecessarily frustrating at times. So, uh, 
a life clip out is basically because of that. Can we not? What the hell was I supposed to do there? Alright, hold up. Um, go back to comfort, but wait. Alright, main gate key. Exit the area, turn to four, I can't walk for a scene. Um, how do how do you want me to avoid this thing? It's completely in the way. Oh, so you just li just let it run through. I'm not too sure how to end it up like that, but okay. Alright, you annoyed me way, way too much, but screw you. Alright, so I guess we're going to the, um, oh, hey. There's a shiny thing in there. Yo, you can't touch these hands! Oh, charm! Cool. This is this is charm. This. All right, and that should be the whole of that chapter. It seems like the next chapter is relatively short, apart from the final boss, which seems like uh, may or may not piss me off incredibly. All right, I'm I'm so sweaty right now. Holy shit! Uh, all right, the Nightwalker. <coughs> oh jeez. Ah. Uh, all right. Sis told me she was kidnapped by the spirit that walks around town at night. She held her charm so tight that it's all worn out. But if I hold it tight enough, it makes me my feelings warm. My throat is gonna die playing this game. I can feel it. All right, so. Mm-hmm. Um, was that <coughs> a problem? Uh... You know, I don't think we'll be just brave to walk straight back into here, but okay. Alright, guess those things are... the crayon notes. Alright, um, let me just come over here and just... Okay, so we're going to a tunnel now. Alright, give me a moment. I'm just gonna refill my water and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, for this part, it seems like we're going, um, this way, I think? It's telling me to go, um, to the vacant lot northeast of home and go from there, so. Uh, I'm actually surprised by how much empty well that's actually huge how much empty space there is which shows how little i've actually done for the um whole content of the game but we're just playing the main story so i guess this is fine uh, i do have a throat drop in my mouth now so hopefully i don't annoyingly cough uh, cough my way through this next part how much coins do i have i i have eight coins okay we're not um hurting for coins anymore all right we want to come up to the vacant is that the closest the vacant lot i can get wow Alright, we need to go through to the... Uh, is this not necessarily a difficult path to cross? Um, the long street east in north until you reach the tunnel. Now, I need to go to the vacant... Okay, I need to go to the vacant lot, so I think that's this way. Cool. Please don't cut off my shortcut. I want to get through here without being annoyed. Yep, 
You can't touch these hands! Is this a problem? Can I, should I not come towards these hands? Yo, bitch. Well, that didn't work. Um, Alright, hold up. How do I get up there? Uh, if I can't go past these hands, then I guess I'll go this way. Could you not? Alright, alright, we're going past the hands. You can't touch these hands! Alright, it disappeared, never mind. We're going this way now. Can we not? Alright, so let's make our way up the vacant lot. Oh, this is good. Uh, could you not walk so initially close to the bush I'm hiding in? Could you walk more to the left? I like to exit this bush and you're making this really difficult for me. Alright, let's keep going this way now. At this point, I'm not even gonna step in portal holes, cause they just... You can't touch these hands! Alright, I should stop doing that. <laughs> Alright, um... So, east of the vacant land, northeast of home, follow the long street east, then north until you reach the tunnel. I don't know where the tunnel is, is it towards the pond? Alright, let's go down this vacant, towards the vacant lot. Um... Is there a path this way? Uh, here's a ting! Human bone! Well, isn't that just ominous? Alright, the thing I don't need right now is something to tackle me. Jesus, that you? All right, we're going this way. We have a checkpoint now. We don't have to walk unnecessarily long distance back to where we were. Wait, isn't this where we started off? Girl, you took your dog on a really long walk. Also, I don't know how you walk with Jesus statues, but well, we'll just leave that to the game. That's fine. Uh, follow along street east and then north until you reach the tunnel. Examine a straw sh small shrine left. Hey look, it's the pebble that caused our dog to die. Then north. I'm just gonna pretend nothing is out here to kill me for this part. Can't touch these hands! Yeah, I should really stop doing that. Uh, apparently the final boss is a pair of hands, so that may get incredibly annoying if I keep doing that. Girl, why were you walking your dog into a tunnel? Wait, hold up. Toy bone. Was that one of your bones? There's way too much... It was Paro's favorite. I don't know. Maybe if you didn't throw that damn rock. Actually, she did remorse about that. She's stopping a dick about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, go keep going north, and then okay. So um, just keep going north until you reach the shrine. Doesn't seem like anything to be a douche about. It. It's so foggy. I shouldn't go in there right now. A little shrine. Huh? This charm is glowing. Maybe I should lift it up. That sounds like a terrible idea, but okay. Um. Alright, what are we actually doing? We... We'll get chased. Funny. Alright, uh, here we go! That sounds like a terrible idea. 
Oh great, now tentacle monsters are out here. We're gonna get raped! Oh not you again! Oh, I saw what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to get to the other shrine. Um. Alright, um. Alright, this, 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 this is fine. This is fine. I, I just wasn't ready for that. All I knew was I was supposed to run, but I didn't know where to run. I wanted to run the straight line. I hugged the left wall that's supposed to go right. That ran out of stamina and I kind of awkwardly died. Um, alright. Alright, here we go. Let's do this again. And Mr. Meat Monster is back again. Why? I don't know. He's got tentacles, so I'm presuming some kind of hentai is going to start, but... Could you not? Hey, how you doing? Okay, the monsters are having a war. I, I presume this is a good point um, to get out of here. Alright, so you ever want to see a big mouth monster and a hand fighting? That was it. Alright, let us save real quick. And we can also teleport here. Alright. This should be basically the final part, so... Um, Road to the shrine. A new area. Run away from small and big enemies while uh, lighting small shrines along the way. And then it seems like the big hand will charge you. Okay, so there's a Tory gate, which you don't know is the um, the gate, I believe, or like the little archway for um, Shinto shrines, I think? I should probably see it before I keep talking. Where the hell am I going? There's a lot of wind. It's kind of worrying why I'm out here. No, like seriously, help. Okay, here we go. Alright, so... Wait, 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 don't start, don't start, don't start, don't start, don't start, don't start. This is just past. Why the hell do you know that? Please don't start yet. Please don't start. Please. Okay, thank you. I have plenty of coins, so let's make the best of this. And there's also something right here as well. Oh, how convenient. Alright, so here we go. Supposedly, you need to run around lighting shrines. Okay, so here are the gates. There's one- why is there one in the bushes? I can't get to that. Suck it! Alright, so whenever I see a shrine, make a beeline for it. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Suck it! Come on hands, piss off. You can't touch these hands! Yeah, I'm... I, I'm sorry, I'm really annoying at this point. I know that for a fact. 
Ah, uh, where's the big hand start? I need to know that. Could you not? Thank you. Let me just conserve my stamina a little bit here. Alright, this is the brightest the game's been so far. It's right at the end. Of course it is. Could you not? Wait, 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 why is the path split? Uh, you're on Easter Shrine, you need to get rid of Big Hand. Take the South Road, okay. To reach a statue, alright. Could you not? Go away. Alright, so there's a Jesus statue here, so, um... Alright, yeah, there we go. Alright! So now we have a checkpoint most of the way up. Alright, let's have a look at what's actually happening now. Um... I feel like I'm gonna get tackled. Uh, you need to run Easter Shrine. Uh, northeast from the road split. Avoid the big hand as it charges you. Only dash in a straight line. Okay, it's the same as like most enemies in this game. They only run straight lines. I don't have enough space. Shit! Do I need to run from the small hands? So supposedly I can make them disappear using light, but um... You can't touch these hands! I keep saying I need to stop that, but it's, it's, it's just satisfying to do that. Okay, um... Yo, come at me, bro. Come at me. You're supposed to make it walk into light. Suck it! You know, this is the most powerful you've been the whole game, so I'm really, really, like... Feeling good about myself and enjoying these moments where I get to be the douchebag and not be the hunted. That's right, I see that when you're hunting animals, you're being a douchebag. But please keep supplying meat to the supermarkets. I do require meat in my diet. Mm -hmm. Now what? Okay, hold on. Yeah! Oi! That pig was so wide! All right, we can do this. We can do this. That thing didn't start up the way it usually does, and well, you know, it just kind of ran me in the face. Is this thing lit up? Can I actually pull that hand into this one? The problem is I can't pull those hands into this one. It doesn't start moving! It, it, it just sit... Just do what you're supposed to do! Is it stuck? No, that's a problem. Hold up. Okay, so we need to work out a way to get around it, but it's just... The AI in this game is so weird. It doesn't always act the way it's supposed to. All right, hands, get off me. Is that a hand still back here? 
It is. I'd like to go back to, um... Well, I don't even know saving the Jesus statue helps. Alright, uh... Alright, let's try this spot again. Supposedly you don't need to run from the small hand, so I'm just gonna see if that works. Piss off. Actually, you know what? If there's a big hand, why not just lure it backwards? Actually, I don't know if I can, but there's small hands behind me. Alright, big hand. Yo. You can't touch these hands! I'm sorry, it really makes me feel a lot better about myself when I do that. I don't know how many times I apologize for it now and how many more times I'm going to do it from here on, but... It feels very empowering to be able to yell back at these things for unnecessary things they do. We're not. Yo, we can make it to you first! All right. Okay, so then we are now at this part. All right. So this is the final boss battle. I spoiler alert for the next couple of seconds. But you know, I've been reading a walk through the whole game. If you paid attention so far, you'll know that I've been reading a walk through the whole game. Alright, so we gotta help our sis now. To win this battle, you gotta light small shrines around the boss area. Once you light them all, the battle will end. The boss itself will try to kill you here, but it's not that fast. Two big hands and some lesser hands will also be present. Dying here where we just start the boss battle itself. Okay. And all the paths are connected. Right. So, they say the best way to do this is circle around the outside. So that is what I'm gonna do. How do you end up here, girl? Ha 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 Alright. Uh, kid, I suggest moving to a different town. This town's obviously kinda, um, haunted. I don't see the shrines. Oh, there we go. Do you think these things don't have the best AI? They're kind of not aiming very well at me. Okay, that was tight. May I just say that was the easiest part of this whole goddamn game? Oh, that thing was made up by a lot of naked people. Oh, damn. Final boss, guys. Naked people clinging onto each other to make a head. Alright, girl. Sis. Sis. Don't die, sis. Oh, she's moving. Hmm? Sis, are you okay? Obviously not. She's been lying here for a while now. I came to look for you. Let's go home. Sis. I was so scared. I was so lonely, sis. Let's go home together, please. Alright, how alive is she?
Whoa, girl, you strong. Oh, no, wait, no. Is it? They're both walking. Okay, it's just, um... Lending her your shoulder. Oh, look, naked people are back. Hey, hey, stay away. Don't come back. Oh, we're actually controlling the spot. Huh? Uh, what is this? It feels weird. Oh, wait, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, it's red. Um, we just got shot in the eye. It's so dark. Like midnight. Light, I have to turn the lights on. It's dark. I can't see anything. That's probably because you just got blinded. Okay. Uh. Uh huh. Uh, you gonna do anything? Okay. Bye. We shouldn't be seeing you. I'd rather still be on the other side. Bye, doggy. So what? Uh, was that last bit like we nearly died? <sighs> Alright, that was the whole Yomawari. It was a good game. Unnecessarily frustrating. I think I say that way too often, but... Um, I feel like the mechanics they put in place for the game were a bit tight for what they wanted you to do with them. Which really doesn't help, but... Um, I got through it in the end, so I guess that's, I don't know, all functional, but... I would like to think I'm decent at games, so probably someone who's more of a casual gamer than I am will not be able to get through that, honestly. Uh... Alright, so there is um, a second game to this. It just came out, actually, I think for, um... In time for this Halloween. I don't have it, it's 50 bucks, so I'm poor as hell. <laughs> but um, maybe next year, we'll see if that goes on special anytime, but with how pissed I could get at these kind of um, horror games, it's, I don't know, maybe I'll try to find some um, more Halloween themed games than um, horror games. I guess in a way, uh, I'm doing Atelier uh, Pacioli right now. Alchemy, I don't know, Witchcraft. It, it, it's it's kind of Halloween-like with um, what Halloween has kind of turned into. I don't know how it turned into that either since the original Halloween was um, a harvest festival. Random trivia if you didn't know that. Halloween was a harvest festival. It's got nothing to do with being scary. Alright, that was a lot of bloody uh, handprints. Don't know why we had those at the, right at the end. That's not ominous at all. Alright. Oh, I just looked at this, um, the next part in the walkthrough. It talks about free roam and how you have an eye patch. So, yeah. We had our eye taken out. That's, that's not cool. Do we actually... Oh, wow. We, yeah, our eye got fully taken out. Holy shit. That is savage for the end of the game, man. That is super savage. Alright, Poro. We'll miss you. You made us go on this stupid ass adventure, and I kind of hate you for it, but we'll miss you. Uh. 
All right, and save. All right, and that lets you go into clear data. All right, so that was a whole of your worry. Right to the ending extra scene where you can just see yourself with your eye taken out and you get to see the dog's grave again. All right, so we're probably not going to do anything like this again. This is going to be what? All right, two, 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 one to two hour-ish videos because um, I flipped out and couldn't take it in one sitting. <laughs> so anyways. Happy Halloween everyone, I hope you have good celebrations, you don't get chased by ghosts. Remember Halloween is not about ghosts, it's about um, bounties for harvest. So if a kid comes trick or treating, poach their candy, they shouldn't be coming in ghost costumes to scare you. You should really be harvesting the candy from their bags. I just said something really terrible. Alright but anyways, um, I will see you all in the next video.